Hey you guys, what is going on? Dorian Court here. Now you might wonder, why does my uh, version of Reason look so weird? Well, this is actually the beta of Reason version 9 that's about to be released on June 21st. Now I am using the beta, so uh, the performance and uh, some minor details uh, are not the same as in the uh, final release, but I think this might be a nice opportunity to talk to you about the new features that are coming up. Now, first of all, we've got a new audio modulation engine, which allows you to uh, make individual pitch changes, as well as a series of really interesting MIDI effects called players. But I will talk about those two in two in-depth videos that are going to be uploaded tomorrow and the day after. Um, in the meantime, I would like to talk about uh, the smaller changes that we have and some of the small improvements that are coming up. So um, why not start uh, with the bounce in place feature? I'm just going to pause this demo track that we're listening to uh, right here and uh, give you an example of how useful a bounce in place is going to be. Now, here we have the main Vox channel and I'll just, I had that muted earlier, I'll just set it to solo so you can listen to the voice. As I said, this is one of the demo songs for the uh, upcoming ninth version. Um, hey, hey. And I can tell you, I can tell you, there's some cold blood suckers in here. Okay, now this is the processed final vocal and it sounds like this in context. Sorry, should have unmuted that. And I can tell you, I can tell you, there's some cold blood suckers in here. And I can tell you, I can tell you. Now, um, this has of course been processed quite heavily, so if I were to create a new audio track and just drag those vocals over here so that they're completely dry, um, they would sound quite different. Hey, hey. And I can tell you, I can tell you. So now there's we've got no processing, no reverb, no EQ. I can tell you, I can tell you, there's some cold blood suckers in here. And a lot of processing has been done in the rack uh, on this audio track. So if we take a look, um, we can see that uh, if we open up this main box and open up the combinators uh, underneath, that there's quite a strong EQ um, with quite the high boost. We've got some compressors going on. We've got another EQ, some filtering and stuff. Now, all this can be very um, CPU intensive. So um, the new bounce in place feature allows you to, uh, with one click, bounce all uh, all the uh, processed uh, audio material out into a new track and it's sort of like what you hear is what you get so um, once again here's the processed um, audio tell you, I can tell you, and you can see all these effect devices here. working here now if I right click and select bounce and then bounce in place it will do some processing and then create a new audio track where it says main vox bounced, it will mute the original. And now if we listen to that, it's a pure rendering of um, all effects that are on this um, that are on this track, including mixer settings. So it really is what you hear is what you get. And I can tell you, I can tell you, there's some cold blood suckers in here. Now, this is very useful for two reasons. Um, number one, it saves you a lot of processing power, so you can sort of uh, bounce stuff in place, uh, keep the original if you want to make some changes, but uh, just uh, have this audio be read off the hard drive as, a, as an original audio track. And also, um, if you would like to chop up these vocals or maybe also use this feature in combination with any aud other audio material, for example, uh, some synth lines that you wrote or something, um, that's going to be really useful because uh, from that part on, you've got pure audio material that you can just, uh, let me just deactivate snap here, that you can just chop up, mangle around, and uh, yeah, manipulate as you please. So um, that is Bounce in Place. Uh, the new version of Reason also comes with some quite interesting uh, ways to manipulate your MIDI notes. Um, you can, for example, uh, reverse clips. So if I right click, and reverse, it will just put the clip in its uh, opposite direction. This is the original bass line. I will now reverse this bass line. So it's quite simple really and I don't think I'll have to do much more explaining. All it does is reverse your MIDI notes and it does it uh, instantly. Another interesting feature 
is uh, that you can uh, cut MIDI notes in the sequencer itself. So let's say uh, we have a very long MIDI note. One sec, let me just get rid of that. Let's say we have a MIDI note that's one bar long. And uh, we would like to uh, cut the MIDI note. Now in uh, previous versions of Reason, you'd have to do this and then copy them over and that cut up the MIDI note into four parts. Now in this newer version, in version 9, you can just simply select the razor tool and give it a cut here and here and you've achieved the same effect. So um, the MIDI editing has become a bit more advanced. Another feature that got me really excited was the ability to bounce audio clips to MIDI. So um, Reason can actually detect uh, the uh, pitches of the different notes uh, that are hidden in your audio material. And I've just done that to the main uh, vocal track. So I've just hit uh, bounce and then bounce audio clips to MIDI. And now as I create a new, let's, uh, let's go for a Thor polysonic synthesizer. All I will do is drag the MIDI note onto that or the MIDI track onto that and uh, let's see what comes out. So that means basically um, all you have to do in the future if you have a melody in your head is just hum it into your microphone and you'll be able to instantly um, get the rhythm as well as the notes uh, into your MIDI track. Let's listen to them together. I think it's really precise and it also works with um, it also works with velocity, so that's um, another interesting addition. Now, I know that I haven't touched upon the features that you guys are looking forward to the most yet, but that's also due to the fact that uh, these features are so complex and so intricate uh, that uh, I will take the time to spend an entire video on each of those. And those are, of course, the uh, MIDI modulation effects that are also called players and the new audio modulation engine, the pitch engine. Uh, that has been introduced in this upcoming version of Reason. So um, if you are watching this video today on June 21st, when it's going to be released, um, my other two videos aren't going to be online. Otherwise, if you are watching this a couple of days later, please check out my channel uh, for an in-depth look at the uh, player MIDI effects and the new audio modulation engine. Uh, I'll see you there. Dorian Code out.